Welcome back guys to another Zero DTE video and today Ernie's going to talk about the Iron Butterfly so make sure you stay tuned. If you're interested in becoming a pro trader check out the link in the description to Ernie's course and as always I hope you enjoy guys. Let's draw our risk graph. That would mean that you would have two credit spreads, one like this, one like this, where this is the short strike. So this would be your short call spread, and this would be your short put spread. Now, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna move them together, this one, this way, and this way, so that their short strikes, this guy and this guy are the same strike. We're just going to move them close together and it's eventually going to look like this. So that's how you create an iron butterfly. All right, let's uh, get rid of all this. And then you're left with this guy here. I'm going to make it a lot bigger so that it's easier to see what's going on here and so I can describe it a little better. So when you put on such a fly, it'll end up looking like this. And there's going to be a fair amount of risk here and some potential profit here, but we're not really interested in this potential here. It's not really what this particular strategy is all about, but when you first put it on, it's going to look like that. Now, if we were to expand this, when you put it on to your trading platform, this may look a little eerie here. It's usually a very wide fly, so I'm going to properly scale this so that uh, it's a little bit easier to understand. Now, we would put something like this on right after the market opens. So the market opens at uh, 930. You would put it on soon after that. You'd find a fly that would work for you. Generally, we're going to make this 50 wide. So that means that these spreads are each 10 strikes wide if you're using the SPX, which is five points per strike. And so when you put this guy on, what you're really hoping to do is capture the premium decay, which means that as soon as the market opens, price is going start going back and forth. And this total here is going to be quite high. And what we're really hoping for is that this real-time profit curve is going to decay some, just enough, right? And we're looking for a very tiny little bit of movement because we don't want to be into the market too long. And we're really going to stay in until price moves and touches one of these break-evens here or here. And that can be a substantial loss, but in most cases, you're going to stay contained within this area while this thing decays somewhere between five and 15 minutes, where you'll be looking for, you know, about a dollar, dollar 50 of profit. And of course, your your risk is going to be significantly more than that. And it's really the reason why I don't trade this strategy. But it's a big favorite of a lot of people that like to live on the edge and manage their risk, where we go exactly the opposite. We're not managing our risk at all. We would rather manage our profits and stay away from the risk altogether, because a trade like this could easily get out of hand if the markets do a you know, just a huge move down or a huge move up. Now, what is the expectation that that's going to happen? Not very often, but when it does, it, it only has to happen once before you start getting gun shy with a trade like this. However, if you're diligent about managing your risk, you can probably achieve an 85 to 90 percent win rate until you don't experience a win. Those losses are probably going to be oh anywhere from three to ten times the, the expected profit that you're going after. So, in other words, anywhere from about 400 to maybe $1,200 loss. So you have to keep that in mind. Now, of course, if you're winning enough times, then you can more than make up for that just through the sheer volume of your wins. But that's a tough game to play. See, the reason why I don't like strategies like this is that even though you might only have a 5% or 10% probability of loss, and that probability is 100% reliant upon you being able to act and act appropriately. The problem with that is that you can have not just one in 20 or one in 10 being those losers. You could literally have two, three, four of those losses in a row. There is a statistical certainty that at some point that's going to happen. And that's really the problem with a strategy like this. If you get into a, uh, a, a bad, frothy market, you could have several days in a row where you could have losses that could really throw you off your game. And I don't like to play that game. I like to keep things super contained and not have to manage my risk and just worry about going after the profit. The other problem with a strategy like this is that it's not very scalable. The only way to scale is to put up tremendous amounts of risk and margin. And that's not a very effective means of scaling. You want to scale with as little money as possible. That's certainly 
is not the case with this strategy. To put a trade on like this will take oh anywhere from three or four thousand dollars of margin just to try to get one hundred and fifty dollars. You're trying to get somewhere between three and six percent or something like that, right around there. That's a super super tough way to make a living. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the like button below. If there's any questions that you might have for Coach Ernie, make sure you leave them in the comment section. Thanks guys.